So we're going to look at this redox reaction here. And uh, there could be some sort of anion, like a sulfate in solution. It could have been given to you as CuSO4 and then Al2SO43 here. And you would need to know that because it's aqueous, it's going to ionize, right? Anytime you see the word aqueous, you know it's going to break up into the ions. So both of those would. And we only care about the cations, the positive charges. So how do we first, let's say we didn't know if there was a reaction or not. How would we determine if there was an, indeed a reaction? What would we need to do? Good. So if the solid on your activity series, right? You have to go do your activity series. And uh, in this case, it would be if you looked it up. Um, here, let's see if I can find mine real quick. So, one second. So, what, what do you do now? <laughs> one second, dear. I'm sorry. Uh, so, now that you've identified that it... Uh, I, I guess it... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It didn't record any of that activity series stuff. So, hold on. So, in this case, we have the solid above the ion in the solution, copper, right? So, it should be that way. Otherwise, if the metal is not above the ion no reaction would take place. So what is the first step in the ion electron method? Half reactions, good. Okay, so when we do that, we're gonna get a Al solid, and it's gonna go into Al3 plus aqueous. And then the other one is going to be uh, Cu2 plus aqueous, a little space. And then we're going to have uh, a, a Cu solid. Now notice I wrote a little space right here. The reason I put the space is because th this is going to undergo what process? Yeah, it's going to be for the electron. So what process is this? Is this going to be your reduction one or is this going to be your oxidation one? If they it's going to be the oxidizing. Okay, so let's say it correctly. You're, you're correct. It's the oxidizing agent, but it's undergoing reduction. Okay, the process is called reduction when you gain the electrons but it is the oxidizing agent, good girl. And we will eventually put the electrons here. And then here, up here, this is undergoing, as a result, what? Oxidation. Good girl. All right, so now at this point, what do we do? We, what do we have to balance? What's the first thing we balance? Okay, well, there's actually a few steps before the electrons. In this case, those steps don't apply. First, you should balance the elements that aren't hydrogen or oxygen. In this case, in this case, aluminum's balanced. There's one aluminum on the left, one on the right. Copper's balanced, one on each side. So then we would balance the, water, the oxygens by adding water. This is for an acidic solution, if they were asking, okay? And then balance uh, H pluses. Or balance hydrogens by adding H pluses. Then you get to the electrons, okay? for the charge. Now in this case, you'll see that there is no oxygens, there is no hydrogens, right? So we go straight to the electrons. So when we go straight to the electrons, what's the charge on the left side here? Mm 
zero, right? What's the charge on the right side? Three plus, she says. And then, uh, what? how many electrons do I need to add in order to get the same charge on both sides? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let's look at the bottom one. What's the charge on the left side? What's the charge on the right side? How many electrons do I need to add? On the left side, right? To make it neutral. Good. So now what do we do? Are we done? Okay. What do I do? Good. So how, how would I achieve that goal? Okay. And? Is that it? Good. So when I do that, I'm going to get 2Al, a solid 2Al3+, plus aqueous, plus 6 electrons, and then 3Cu2+, plus, plus 6 electrons, 3CuS. Now what do I do? <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Yeah. Why don't you say you add them? Why didn't you say you add them? It's okay, you can... Okay, I thought you were trying to avoid my bad joke that would have come if you said you had them. Is that what you were doing? Okay. Well, if you add them, you get 2Al solid. You never get my jokes. Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll work on your sense of humor. I can tutor you on that as well. <laughs> and you're the angry one anyway. You need to stop being so angry. You're always angry on people's posts. I don't know why. <laughs> so just let them be, you know. There's no need to make yourself angry by their actions. Anyway, th so what do I do now? Bye. Bye. Are we done? The answer, the answer is yes. We should now be charged both, or balanced both by charge and the number of atoms. And let's double check. Uh, we got two aluminums here, two aluminums there, three coppers here, three coppers there. The charge on the left is going to be two plus times 3, which is 6 plus. This is 2 times 3 plus, which is 6 plus. So we're good to go. All right? Do you understand? Good. So uh, I believe your roommate is going to come to tutoring here in the next five minutes or so. So uh, what I need you to do is watch, watch the videos that you haven't watched from this morning that I put up. Uh, for the balancing and acidic solution and basic solution. And uh, we can meet back at 5.30 during your tutoring time, okay? So just study between then if you have any any time. But if you have any questions between now and then on your, your what you're working on, uh, just put a question mark by it. You should also start working on the old test. Do you have the old test? Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, at 5.30, when you meet, be ready. I'm going to give you, there's no holding back. I'm going to give you hard questions as well as these easy ones, okay? Thank you for being a good student and working hard. I'll talk to you soon. Can you say okay one more time? <laughs> Bye.